Useful railway. Mike had had trouble with some sheep. He grumbled about them dreadfully. They're silly, said Rex, but they're useful. What? Farmers, went on Rex, sell their wool. What's that? People make clothes from wool. You know, things they wear instead of paint. Quite right, Rex. The engines were startled. A small controller stood in the doorway. The farmers, he went on, want us to take their wool to market. If we do it well, they'll know we're really useful. So you must all do your best. But I don't understand, sir, Bert protested. We can't drive sheep down the line. They wouldn't go straight. Silly, said Rex. We don't drive sheep. We take their wool in bales on trucks. It'll be easy. The small controller laughed. Very well, Rex, he said. You seem to know all about it. So you shall take the first train. They started loading at the lane. Then Rex came gently down the line, stopping at all the farms and level crossings on the way. Nearly finished, said his driver at last. Only one more load, and we're away. But he'd reckoned without Willie and his tractor. Willie was late. He'd been dawdling. Rex's whistle roused him, and he set off at top speed. Your load slipping, someone shouted. Oh dear, thought Willie. I can't stop now. I hope it'll hold. It did, but not quite long enough. Willie dashed into the yard and swept round to bring his trailer alongside the line. The trailer tilted, a strain loosened the ropes, and the topmost wool bales slid sideways to the track. Crumbs, burst out Willie. That's torn it. I well, must warn Rex. He jumped down and ran along the line. Rex's trucks were running nicely. I said it was easy. I said it was easy. He chanted happily to himself. Then everything happened at once. Willie waved and shouted, and behind Willie, through the bridge, Rex glimpsed the bales lying on the track. Stop, 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 he whistled. On, 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 urged the stupid trucks. But Rex's brakes checked them. Oh, uh, he groaned and shut his eyes. His front hit something soft. He tilted sideways and found himself off the line, leaning against the cutting side, while his driver felt him all over to find if he was hurt. When the small controller came, Willie said he was very sorry, and with his master's permission he stayed and worked very hard clearing the mess. They put the trucks to rights, and Bert lost no time in taking him away. But Rex had to stay where he was. He didn't like that a bit. Trains kept passing, and passengers would point at him, and say, Ooh, look, there's been an accident. Mike and Bert would laugh and remark how easy it was to pull wool trains. Poor Rex. They lifted Rex to the rails at last, and Bert and Mike helped him home. That accident served me right for being swanky. No, said Bert, it wasn't your fault at all. Sorry we laughed. This came from Mike. The small controller was waiting. I'm proud of you all, he said. Thanks to Rex, the accident did little harm. Bert and Mike worked like heroes, and our customers all admire the way we managed. They thought we were a toy railway, but now they say we're really useful. They've promised us plenty more work when the wool traffic is done. <laughs> <laughs>